Good morning, guys. Las Legadinsky Bakers. Oh, chilly this morning, huh, boys? 25 degrees, it says. I didn't look for a feels like temp. I don't know where you guys can see, but Frey is still pregnant over there. Oh, threw them a bunch of extra straw last night just in case. She was going to deliver this morning. Oh, got my box and my coffee. I'm trying not to drop my coffee here. I put latte in a kidding stall last night. And she's been up and down and pretty uncomfortable since ooh, early this morning. I don't think she's at the stage that we need the kidding box, but I was going to come sit with her for a little while. Oh, Got to put you guys down in just a second. Um, come check on her, sit with her, see where she's at. Get... Ooh. Hi! Having a contraction, but I wanted to get her heat lamp warming <laughs> since it's so chilly. See if we can. Oh, there you go. That's a start for now. I had to put on my winter layers, some of them at least. I didn't know how long I'd be sitting out here. It's warm enough that the waters are not frozen in here. guys' video that's supposed to go out today is going to be delayed because I'm out here and not finishing it up in the house. That's okay. What do you think, Latte? Huh? Want to get your heat lamp warming for your babies? plugged in. We got it. We got it. We got it. Come here. 
Some more time? Should I go feed pigs and stuff? but I was definitely up many, many times watching her in the camera. Okay, well I think we're going to go get a bottle for the bottle babies and we've got some time to feed pigs and I'll keep checking in on her to see how she's doing. But I haven't seen her doing any pushing yet. And I need to go find Mello and check on her. She still had full ligaments last night, so. Okay, Latte, I'm going to do some chores. I'll be back to check on you, okay? Alright guys, it's about 9.30. 9.30. I was inside working on making some bread. And Latte started laying down and doing some pretty good work. Oh, we got a nose 
coming already, huh? Goodness. Looks like just nose. So latte is bred to Lucifer. Yeah, I had to think about that. And ultrasound looked like three kids. This one may be hard to get since it's just a head, Mom. very well. size kid if you have three in there. Frosted ears. Ah. Got the next one coming, and it's a girl. Oh. Oh. oh you guys see that one? Yeah. Okay. Try a different spot for the camera, so hopefully it works out all right.
comes the next one. Oh, just part of the bubble so far. Big yawn. Oh, I guess what time is it? It is 9.42. I'm excited because Latte had three bucks last year. <laughs> so at least I know there's one dough. Oh. Yeah, you had a long night, huh? Or an early morning. Oh, another one face first. Oh, that one's got a couple legs there. This one's little. one's really little. Come on. I don't think this one even got Oh, there you go. Squeezed coming out. Holy tiny. I don't think this one is going to be able to stay out here. We got back feet coming first. Looks like another tiny. <laughs> Come on. Not as tiny. The third one born is a girl. Just a second. Oh. 
Oh, okay. This tiny little one is a boy. I mean, he is itty bitty. Oh, yeah. Scream it out. Yeah, scream it out. We saw three. I thought I saw three. So I'm gonna assume she's done, but with the size of these guys, they're pretty tiny. Well, the first one was big. Yeah. Keep screaming. Keep screaming. First one's ready to run off on a marathon. Can you like this one too? Okay, you need to go this way. Those babies, Foxy. Okay. I am really happy that I got this heat lamp going. Mom's blue eyes. Huh? Goodness. Goodness. For you. That is good for you. I don't think he's going to be able to compete very well, especially with this big one. But. Here, Latte, like this one.
do you think? You got mom's blue eyes too. feel anything else, thank God. <laughs> but she's still laying down, so that makes it hard. So I think this one seems like it's going to be perfectly fine. These two we're going to have to really keep an eye on because of their size, but especially the little guy. See when she stands up, get them all eating, especially him. Get some colostrum <clears throat> in him so that he can keep himself warm, and we'll go from there. I'll probably find a couple more clips and drop this down a little bit lower. Don't eat my towel, clean them. You got it. Oh goodness. There you go. Good girl, Latte. Nope, clean them. another hoof sticking out there. Say, you outdid yourself. Don't step on them. There you go. Come on. Go. Sneeze it out. There you go. Sneeze it out. You got it.
because she's trying to make up for last year. so small. <sighs> It'd be really nice if I could get Foxy to take one of these guys. We um, got home from the fish fry Friday night and found her doling down and cold. I got her in the house and warmed up to about 99 degrees, but we lost her. And I'm still really upset about it. So. I don't think she'll take one of these. Because she's very protective. But it would be really nice if we could. Hi, ma'am. You doing a little better now? You're going to be just like mom. Hi. It'd be really nice if I could get you to scream. Oh, my goodness. Come on. I know you're cold. You need to be under here. Well, that was more than I bargained for this morning. Two big ones, two little ones. Pretty sure we're done now. <sighs> My goodness, Latte. I don't think they want to see your dirty backside. <sighs> Don't you turn around this way. Let them see babies. Not icky butts. Okay. Little man. Can we get you some colostrum? That way you're set if I have to take you in the house. Is that good? Boy, they. He's still got a little bit of stuff in there. Yep. Come on. There we go. Latte, we're going to have our hands full. And I got to wash my bibs now. My goodness, Latte. You outdone yourself, lady. I think we got lots of chocolate buckskins. That's what I think. Latte, latte, latte. Look at you showing everybody up. 
Latte and Lucy. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep him warm. Get the others going. <laughs> He's gonna have to go in the house. But I gotta get these guys set where I can leave them out here. Oh. Get a towel and get him in my coat. Too many layers on, sir. <laughs> now, my body heat is not going to be enough to keep him warm since our temp is about 98.6. Goat's temp is between 100, is it 101.5 and 103.5? But this will keep him warmer than out here. I kind of figured dough code. She couldn't go yesterday when people were home to help. While it was windy yesterday, it was warmer than it currently is. one have to get moving. Yeah, have to get moving. Can't take your brother in until I know that you guys are going to be okay out here because it's colder out here. Oh. I'd say you couldn't have just had St. Patty's babies yesterday. for getting Foxy's delivery video out today. Oh. You're up and moving, but let's get you dried off a little bit more here. Two standing. So this is exactly what Latte looks like when she was born. This lighter color will turn a lighter cream almost white. So you're gonna look just like your mama. Yeah. You're, 
stay toasty in there. You're all right. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. And then I should have a, I think, a small jar in my kidding kit. I will milk out a little colostrum for the little man so that when I get him in and make sure he's warm enough, I can give him some. I milked out some colostrum and gave, oh, what is it? Doe three and four, numbers three and four, um, some colostrum with a syringe. The rest of this I'm going to take in the house for their brother. He is in the house in a warming box. Um, I'm going to weigh these guys and dip their cords and then I'm going to go in and if he's warm enough I'm going to give him some colostrum and then I will weigh him and dip his cord. You're doing a good job Latte. Oh, you're all right. You're all right. So this is doe number one. She is going to look just like dad. Yeah. But the only white, she's got a little bit of white, a couple dots on her nose, a little bit on her eyebrow there. Top of her head, she has frosted ears. And then the tip of her tail. Huh. But that's the only white. Yeah. I love <laughs> right above her eye. Huh. Yeah, you're a cutie. Okay, let's see what you weigh. Doe number one, kid number one, is 2.6 pounds. back to mom. Relax a minute. Okay. Number one done. I know, I know. You're doing a good job. I brought her back. She found that molasses electrolyte water that I brought her. So number two is the buckling in the house. So this is little number three. She is bigger than her brother, but not huge. She has blue eyes. I don't know if you can see, it's not really light enough in here. Her pupils are big. But I think she is going to be a chocolate buckskin. So Latte is a chocolate buckskin, but she's going to be darker than latte huh she's got a little bit of white on the tip of her tail but i think that's it on the top of her head huh can you say hi hey too cute okay let's see what she weighs she is 1.45 pounds so almost one and a half pounds, which means her little, her brother is going to be tiny. Huh. Your brother is going to be tiny. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Get your cord dipped. Ready? Whoa, whoa, you're going to get iodine everywhere. Oh, latte, that's gross. Okay. This is... Yuck. 
Number four. Third doe. Fourth born. I think she's going to have blue eyes. And she is going to end up looking just like Latte. This will lighten up. Huh. You got straw everywhere. And I think she just has the white on the top of her head and the tip of her tail. Huh. Are you cold? You need to get back under the heat lamp. Yeah. So let's get you weighed. I think she's going to be in between the two that we've just weighed. She is 1.7 pounds. Okay. Yes, I will give her back. Just a second, Mom. Oh. I'm spilling. Stop kicking. I didn't check anybody's teats. I wanted to get them back underneath the uh, heat lamp in there. We can do that later, huh? Oh. Yes, they're all right. I gave her some Tums. It doesn't look like she ate it. Her molasses electrolyte water will help her. Let me give her a little more chaff hay. And I will give her some grain. You can go out in a little bit, Foxy. Gotta let it warm up a little bit more for your buckling. Okay. I do... It's getting kind of late. It's almost noon, but... I do need to come out and milk out Foxy's extra milk and Treble's extra milk and Classy's extra milk. Um, but right now, first priority, now that I know these guys are good, at least for a little while, is to get in there and make sure that that buckling is warm enough and take care of him. Once he's warm enough, I will get him some of this colostrum. Um, and we'll see what he weighs. So, we will be back. Like I said, I'm going to go in and do that. I don't know if I'll, how much of it I will record. I need to get in there and get him handled. Hi, spree lady. Um, and then after I get him taken care of, I will come out and make sure that they all nurse again and are getting what they need. Oh, this down. And I will be able to keep an eye on them in the camera, too, just to make sure that they're all upright and doing okay. We'll take care of the towels when we come back. I come in and uncovered him, and he is standing. So I just had him in this box with the hair dryer blowing, and I had just this heavy rug over it to keep the heat in. So I'm going to take his temp. I mean, he is... Tiny, tiny. Take his temp, see if he's warm enough to feed or if I need to turn the hair dryer back on. And then we'll see about getting him weighed once he's good enough. Okay, I weighed him and he was, I weighed him. I took his temperature and he was 102.8. So I went and Ahead and fed him a couple milliliters. I think he ate about one and a half milliliters of colostrum. So now I'm going to try to get him weighed. He is 
is 0.95 pounds, so he's not even one pound. And I will dip his cord and stuff in just a little bit, but I figured I would let you guys see him. He is officially the smallest goat that we've ever had here. So you can see he's shaking. He is kind of cold. I'm going to go ahead and kind of cover him back up so that he can stay a little bit warmer. And I mean, I have small hands and that's how big he is. He is tiny. Well, it's about three o'clock, I believe. Let me just come out to check on Latte's three doughs out here. What are you talking about? Where's your boy? Is he sleeping under the shelf? So, come out. Make sure these guys are all drinking. The big one, I know, has been eating really well. It's mostly this one. Doesn't feel as full as this one. And whoa! Hey, it's just the cat. It's okay, Latte. It's okay. Alright, I made sure all three ate. This one didn't eat as much as the other two, so I'm gonna have to come back out and check on her shortly. Foxy, her buckling was underneath the step stool thing there. So I woke him up, had him get up and eat. Hi. Cupid's like, that's not my kid. Whoa. It's just a cat. She's not going to hurt your babies. Okay. I milked out some colostrum, put the guy inside. If she doesn't seem to be nursing better next time I come out, I will uh, bring a syringe or a bottle. Make sure that she gets some. Oh, and everybody else is just doing their thing out here. Wind is chilly. Oh, I thought we'd take a walk over and come check on Freya. No babies yet? Okay. Well, Eldred was a couple days after I thought she was going to be due too, so. You going to take a couple days, couple days also? What are you guys doing? These guys all ducked under the fence. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? This one climbed under the gate. Oh my goodness. He's sleeping with his head in the corner. But he's doing good. He's eating well.